hate watching this matchup. Why do you hate this matchup? I hate watching this matchup. I mean, I also hate playing it as Lucina. Right. But I just don't like watching it because I don't like watching Lucina versus any zoner. And this is a this is like a zoner who Lucina can't go ham on. Well, not as ham. Okay, but to once like you get in, Carol can't do anything and takes 30%. Yes, except he can nair. And then your combo becomes his combo. And by combo, you mean two hits. Well, I mean, if his two hits do more than Lucina's two hits do, then fair enough. Oh, I see. Just Nair. Although, at least it looks like Boost isn't doing too bad against it, so... Yep. Boost, I think, is a significantly... Oh, man. He wasn't even going to make it back anyway, but... Gotta Boost go was a like... disrespect. I mean, like, can I you really to let you blame live. him? You die on my terms. Yeah. It's just like, there's so much damage coming from K. Rule, even I if it's not necessarily. I'm honestly kind consistent. of surprised that yeah, see, Spaku so, didn't go for Pac Man straight away. I mean, it's not a great match for Pac Man either. It's probably a worse one for K. Rule, but if he's having fun with this character, you know. That's fair. I mean, like, that's allegedly the point of the game, is to have fun. I've heard from sources. Sakurai has said so. Oh my so, uh, god. Next tournament we're gonna play Sakurai rules, items, everything. That's not how you're supposed to play the game. Sakurai says so. He's the king. We have to obey his rule. Party game, eight player mode, items on. I actually st ha still haven't touched eight player mode on my Switch. I don't think I've touched it on my Switch either. Last time I did it was Wii U. I mean, I've played it in, like, actual parties, but, you know. Well, getting a player onto a single Switch just sounds like a nightmare. I mean, it's the same deal as the as uh, Wii U. You yeah, attach that's two GameCube adapters. Except you can't attach two GameCube adapters. Yep, there it is. The Nair trade into the up... Special, and we're at even stocks again. Oh, wow. So the thing is that K rules, one of the things is in this game is that bodies are a lot more solid, so you can't run past people. Right. But what it also does is that when K rules at ledge, sometimes his mere existence will cause an edge hog situation where the other guy can't grab ledge. It's especially Wait, so bad that with. Also for the air. Yes. That it's would. especially bad with K. Rule Nair, which is just a hitbox, armor, everything. That down smash goes farther than I thought it did. Yep. Like, Not I, as I far know as the Ridley down smash, though. That's true, but like I was expecting just the body, and then like I didn't realize there was a second weak hit. And oh, that was a gorgeous F smash. Boost takes game one. And the winner of this goes on to fight one more, so. And then finals? Uh, that would be, uh, yeah, that would be loser's finals. Huh. Wait, no, that's not loser's finals. That's loser's semis. No, last time was loser's semis, I thought. No, that was loser's quarters. Oh, you're right. We're currently okay. also watching another game of loser's quarters. Yeah. And... Winner's finals will be Updog versus Tybal. Dang. So, for the first time, Updog is actually confirmed to be higher than top four. I mean, granted, he's also been to a grand total of, like, four of these weeklies. That's true. Um, I think, what, last week And this is a relatively non-stacked one. None of our... Blorp's not here. Blorp's not here. Cinny's not here. I mean, we don't expect Cinny to be here all that often. Right. Mon yeah, Monty couldn't enter. Neither could Diffie. But, I mean, still, making it to court is an accomplishment. So is this, like, standard Spaku control of move back into Pac-Man when losing? Yeah, Pac-Man's been his main since Smash 4, so you can imagine that he has some degree of loyalty. 
and like old Pac-Man got were improvements. I don't <gasps> think anyone's will he. That was beautiful, but no. Yeah, if it, he took Boost's jump there, obviously Boost wouldn't have been able to recover. Right. But. Ooh, he's just a little bit short on that Shield Breaker height. Ooh. Uncharacteristic SD. Misjudge how far away from the last zone. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just that somehow his uh, up B just didn't come out. Trampoline's... Uh, Trampoline's just this uh, wonderful move for recovery right up until, you know, it isn't. I don't know. I still think my personal favorite thing is just the beauty of uh, <sighs> Trampoline versus Mac is hysterical to me. He's not. He might make it back. He does make it back. That was such a difficult mo room to recover but he makes it. Ooh, and, and there takes he the stage spike. And for the first time in this set, he actually has a lead. So I wonder what Spock is going to do with this lead, because normally when you have a lead as Pac-Man, you're supposed to camp, camp it out, but Boost is just chasing so relentlessly. There's no chance to take it out. I don't think Boost likes being in the lead. Oh, and now they're back to Tide. Yeah. Boost does like being in the lead. I mean, who doesn't? But Boost makes sure that he's in the lead. Yeah, I mean, I don't like being in the lead, but I have little control over that. Whereas when Boost, Boost begins losing, it just becomes, okay, I'm going to release the full-out assault. Yeah. Or I'm going to die trying. For me, it's been a lot of die trying. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to see is a bit more of this. We're probably going to see a lot more of Pac-Man boxing, because he's going to have to use his uh, normals in order to get out of this situation. Whereas in new, because this isn't really true neutral. This is more of a boost Constant has the aggression. Lead. Yeah, boost has this. Uh, aggre boost has not necessarily the lead, but he has a, an advantageous situation for most of this game. And there it is. Whoa. More turnaround. But and that doesn't kill. Up. I mean, it's an F smash from past the center's orange. Was that hydrant to orange? No, that was just orange. Oh, okay. It's if it were hydrant watered, it'd be even faster. No, no, no. I, I mean, he hit hydrant into the orange. No, he just threw it out. Oh, okay. Just a solid edge guard. Yeah. It travels in a straight arc, plain and simple. Doesn't do anything stupid, but it can kill apparently. I mean, almost anything would have killed off that area. Pac-Man Fair. Definitely would have killed there. Really? Have you seen Pac-Man Fair do the drag across the stage thing? No. It's like I know nothing about Pac-Man except for Twitter combos. Those are part of those are some of the Twitter combos. Correction, fruit Twitter combos. Ah, I see. So in Smash 4, apparently. Pac-Man had a oh. infinite with Z-drop fruits into footstools, but I then think it was uh, mildly beyond human uh, ability. Mildly beyond? Yeah. I mean, I remember at the end of Smash. There was some Japanese Twitter. Uh, right. There was some Japanese Twitter guy who was doing them, so I'm sure it was theoretically possible if it, you know. You had all your focus doing those. I mean, I remember getting to the end of Smash Ultimate or Smash Four, and the constant barrage of Peaches beginning to understand their infinites. I mean, the problem is that Peach players are interchangeable with Bayonetta players. I mean, like, I get that Bayonetta was terrible last game, but I love bit watching Bayonetta in Ultimate. No, it's not that, but it's more of a, they attracted that kind of personality. Um, I'm pretty sure Bayonetta was, I want the easy combos and I want to win. No, if you wanted easy combos, you'd play Sheik. But, like, I want to win with easy combos. I mean... I suppose... Either way, back to this set. Right. So once again, 
Spaku's in the lead, and, and Spaku's this means that he gets to farm for fruit. And, and he's kind of keeping Boost, well, as I say it. Yeah, so the thing is that Boost either has to be right on top of him, or he has to have a respectful distance in order to avoid getting a Hydrant dropped on his head. But Boost does have matchup experience in this matchup. He, Spaku and Boost are old friends from the Smash 4 days. And Spaku wisely drops shield as opposed to getting his shield broken. So one thing I'm noticing is that to Boost right now, he's not using many defensive options at all. And that's going to bite him in the butt. <laughs> See, I'd counter with Spaku. This game is seeming a lot more aggressive than the previous games. Yeah, oh. he's definitely looking a lot more aggressive. But the thing is, if it's a war of aggression, Pac-Man is going to lose Lucina. Because Pac-Man does not have a disjoint. Oh, absolutely. But, like, there's still a push that was different from last game of he was trying to try try to zone boost out, and that didn't work, so he adapted pretty quickly and moved into... Yeah, definitely a slightly better option than getting, trying to run away, but and getting destroyed. Lucina's, Lucina's good at chasing. Like, she's not all that great at getting out of situations because her movement speed's not that fast, but it's fast enough to chase down an opponent. Especially with the disjoint affair. I mean, you can cover... Or back air. Well, the back air is the one that kills. So that's why it's important. Fair is the one that... Combos at low percents? Yes. Yes. Man. I thought it was cool to have it. And then I realized Fair couldn't kill anymore. And then I was like, this guy... Ooh. Beautiful timing. And, okay, fine. The timing is not that difficult. Because it's the same uh, speed 